Bungie is being sued for stealing the Red War campaign. Allegedly, that's what this lawsuit details, and we're going to cover all of it here. Brought to us from Destiny Bulletin. Here we go. Bungie's being sued in a copyright infringement lawsuit, claiming the developer copied key elements of Plaintiff's original work for the Red War storyline. Now, the key to all of this is, is the author's work well known? And just how close is it? Obviously, you know, an entire judge is going to have to rule in on this. This is an actual loss. Like, there's actual, like, documented stuff here. Oh, they actually have side-by-side -side work here that we can actually reference. This is about to get very juicy here. Okay. In a new legal dispute, video game developer Bungie is being accused of copyright infringement over the storyline in Destiny 2's Red War campaign, filed on Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024, in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Louisiana. The lawsuit was brought by Kelsey Martineau, a Louisiana-based writer, which is also pretty interesting considering the timeline here, right? Like 2017 is when this Red War campaign was brought up, and so now you have seven years later now, it's been a while. Why now is a big question I have, but we'll see. Maybe it takes time to develop the case, right? Martineau claims that the Red War storyline and the depiction of the Red Legion in Destiny 2 are taken directly from his original work published online years before the game's release in 2017. Martineau alleges that Bungie unlawfully used his ideas, characters, and plot points when creating Destiny 2's original storyline, the Red War campaign. All right. You have Gaul, right? The whole story. You remember the Red War campaign, right? Some of you out there, it's been sunset. It's been removed from the end. Now, some of you out there are like, what's the Red War campaign, right? Newer players. Martino's work, if you don't know what it was, it was a really, really cool story of a cabal guy. He's named Gaul. He shows up. He's trying to, like, capture the traveler. He's trying to take the ca the traveler's light. It's it's pretty complicated. You have to actually watch through um, a video that I have where we go through the entire campaign and show all the cutscenes if you want to really catch up to it. But it was a really cool story. It was one of, considered one of the best campaigns in Destiny's history. Martino's work, written under the pen named Casper Cole includes a powerful alien faction called the Red Legion, in which he describes a powerful military force that is embroiled in an unending cycle of warfare. In 2013 and 2014, Martineau, writing under the pen named Casper Cole, authored an original work about a unique captivating fantasy world. The lawsuit reads, Martineau published his work on the World Wide Web. I feel like I haven't read someone say the World Wide Web in so long. The work was published at www.wordpress.com, a well-known online publishing platform freely accessible to anyone worldwide via the internet. And it should be said, I mean, it's a silly thing to even say, but Bungie, even in their last live stream, talked about how they'd take inspiration from various different things when they developed the game. They were talking about 1960s, you know, like punk rock or not, rock music, rather, or the scorn that they have and all, all the different aesthetics for that. Like, they take inspiration from things, but usually it's not like plagiarism right it's inspiration and there can be a you're, you're towing a fine line there depending on how much inspiration how close your rework is to the original work so the key to all of this would be is how close is the red war campaign to the story that this author wrote according to martino this faction bears striking similarities to the red legion a ball in destiny 2 which also serves as the main antagonist in the game's initial storyline Destiny 2 lawsuit targets Bungie for alleged story theft. In his complaint, Martino states that the leader of the, his Red Legion, Yinra, has an origin story and motivations almost identical to the Red War campaign's main villain in Destiny 2, Dominus Gaul. Both characters, according to the lawsuit, are shown as societal outcasts who rise to prominence as leaders. I mean, societal outcasts that rise to prominence as leaders this is an archetype that's been used many many times before it's not like something that you could argue like that's super vague right and aim to take control i need to see like i need to see text to text comparison um like i want to see a line like if, if we're going to talk plagiarism i want to see like an actual like line plagiarized from one to the other and aim to take control of a powerful celestial entity hovering above Earth. Okay, so there's a powerful celestial entity hovering above Earth. Okay, that was a little bit closer, you know. It's not the only time someone's written about something like this. Martino's Honanob Station and Destiny 2's Traveler. So there's a he has a Honanob Station. I don't know what that is. Um, the similarities between Martino's primary antagonist Yinra and Destiny 2's primary antagonist Dominus Gaul 
are striking and clearly establish more than a mere coincidence, the lawsuit reads. The rise of Dominus Gaul from Destiny 2 replicates the rise of Overlord Yinra from Martino's work. They are both urged, guided, and assisted by outcast mentors, scholars to overthrow their leaders, to rise to power with the intentions of invading Earth. Again, you know, I mean, that's like, there's so, there's been, there's probably like a thousand stories out there like that. And both Martino's work, including without limitation, the first defense. In Destiny 2, Rebel fend off Red Legion invaders on Earth against backdrops of burning settlements, ravaged streets, and utter chaos. All right, let's see here. So Destiny 2, let's see what we got here. For Destiny 2, it is after encountering failsafe on Nessus, the concept of exo-consciousness transfer is introduced to Destiny 2's narrative through the character Cade 6. Exo is created by transferring human consciousness into robotic bodies and body an ethically complex technology. This process, developed by Clovis Bray during the Golden Age, raises significant ethical questions about identity, autonomy, and the moral implications of affecting memories. These dilemmas prompt a deeper reflection on the responsible use of such advanced technology and its potential impact on the future of humanity. As the Guardians navigate the aftermath of the Red Legion's invasion and their ongoing fight against the forces threatening the last city, it should be noted that the Clovis Bray Corporation utilized propaganda to promote their technological advancements and to paint a positive image of their contributions to society due to ethical quandaries surrounding it. Okay, we're familiar with that. So what does Martino's work said that, that pre predates Destiny 2's narrative, right? Immediately after the enhancement beam is mentioned within the narrative, the concept of transversion is introduced. This is a system used to merge both minds and consciousness. Consciousnesses. Uh, the narrative also prevents transversion as an ethically complicated technology that could potentially alter the future, prompting questions about its responsible usage. The moral and ethical questions regarding it are explored in numerous portions of the narrative and users often, through journals, question the morality of such actions. The technology is utilized by not only the Red Legion and Martino's works, but by the... but by and on numerous other factions, sometimes unknowingly. Transversing consciousnesses in the narrative introduces a mode of delivering propaganda to intended targets to, in order to accomplish certain tasks in this portion and throughout the portions of the narrative. I mean, transferring consciousness from, you know, a living being to a robot, this is not something new either. I'm still not quite seeing it just yet. Maybe there will be something more that will convince me. Um, I do get, like, like clearly I get, like, inspiration. Like, I believe that whoever was writing the Destiny 2 narrative may have read Martino's work. But is that, does that make the Destiny 2's work plagiarism? I doubt. I doubt a court would see that. Martino's complaint states that the Destiny 2's Red Legion operates under a hierarchy similar to his version, with both factions having soldiers as legionnaires. Another point is the portrayal of war beasts in Destiny 2, which Martino argues are nearly identical to his creation called Miogas, which are dog-like creatures used by the Red Legion to further their military tasks. Yeah, there's like there's some heavy undertones and some, you know, <laughs> some real uh, inspiration, we'll say, taken from Martino's work. You could tell, like, considering all of the, the names and all of the stuff, you can tell, uh, at least in my opinion. The lawsuit further emphasizes the similarities in technology used by the Red Legion in both works, including powerful weapons. Marno's story introduces a weapon called the Atonizer, a laser-based superweapon that could spell doom for the conquered population. In Destiny 2's Red War, so is that like the... Got you. Like Rasputin? In Destiny 2's Red War campaign, a comparable superweapon named the Almighty is used by Gaul, oh, and Gaul's Red Legion to threaten the destruction of Earth's sun. Both the Atonizer prototype and the Almighty are portrayed as extremely powerful weapons that can bring about the destruction of an entire race. The lawsuit states, I mean, an extremely powerful weapon that can can destroy the entire human race. I mean, this is all like, this is like nuclear weapons, nuclear warfare stuff. Like this is not something that's original to this necessarily. The lawsuit also alleges other copy details and plot points in Destiny 2's Red War storyline, including failsafe, interesting, ball and cinder flamethrowers, encrypted messages, the spaceship reactors, digital input panels, beacons as message receivers, Red Legion transmissions, and the concept of consciousness transfer, exo-race, apocalyptic storyline, and more. All right, what do they? Let's see what they actually are saying here. And Martin's work receiving message via beacon, submerged Arctic 1259. 
The digital input panel on the Atonizer prototype is described as having a fail-safe mechanism that can reverse the effects of an enhancement beam and permanently alter the effects of the surrounding area for a certain period of time. In Destiny 2, Failsafe is an artificial intelligence that helps the player find Cade and disable equipment of the Red Legion. Using Failsafe, players are able to reach the reactor core to complete their mission. Failsafe also assists in the search for Captain Massad Jacobson. Martiner's work, a failsafe mechanism in the Atonizer prototype, acts as a crisis aversion tool, reversing the effects of an enhancement beam. In Destiny 2, an artificial intelligence named Failsafe guides players to avoid obstacles and achieve objectives functioning as a preventative tool. Man, I'm not seeing it yet. I mean, I again, I see the similarities, but plagiarism, I don't know. Martino is seeking damages and injunctive relief in the suit. According to the lawsuit, Martino claims that Bungie's infringement was deliberate and intentional, and he is demanding a jury trial to settle the matter. As of now, Bungie has not responded to the lawsuit, so there will actually be a jury trial to settle this issue. Potentially, unless they are able to settle out of court, which it might be in Bungie's best interest to settle out of court. Depends on how much they're asking, because it you know, could be a lot. Could be in the millions, depends, right? And so requiring defendants to live Martin on all copies of materials of infringement or violate any of Martin's rights described herein. Requiring defendants to provide Martin with an accounting of any and all sales of products or services that infringe or violate any of Martin's rights as described herein. The 40 53 page document here. Right? 53 pages going through all of it. But if you're interested, the original post can be found. The original article is on thegamepost.com. Thanks to them for putting this all together. There's a lot going on here, man. Yeah. Red Legion monitors Earth. Like he's got all these different points. Red Legion mon and Martin has worked. The Red Legion has be been monitoring beings on Earth and another planet for 50 galactic transects. Noting that they have not made contact. I mean, it's all just like. It's like there's there's parallels that can be drawn, but plagiarism plagiarism has to be like a real copy, you know? Is there no there's no like drawings that are taken here? There's no like images. They're showing like the war beast here. But that's like the Destiny 2 War Beast, and that's a Destiny 2 image as well, but they're not showing any like it's just a the book that he wrote, so there's no like visuals that are taken from it. It's just the story and the, you know, the narrative plot and direction and plot twists and things of that nature, the characters, all of that. If you haven't responded to this lawsuit as of right now. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think it holds any validity? Do you think that, that uh, they're about to cash in on this one? Or do you think that this is uh, an L down in the comments below? I'll go ahead and read some of the comments we have here on the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash lucky10p. Here we go. Everyone's saying generic AF. Yeah, I agree. They will get to discovery and then they can look at all the internal Bungie communications in this game's boss is even mentioned. It will probably be curtains for Bungie's case. Yeah, if they get to uh, if they get to discovery, yeah, in the terms of the trial and all of that. If they could, they could actually see the internal communications and they could see uh, what Bungie, maybe even reference points that Bungie was using for this. But even still, even if Bungie references some things, does that still directly plagiarize if the final work isn't from them, you know? I don't know. It's very, it's going to be an interesting case to see what happens with this. I imagine Bungie would probably try to settle out of court just to kind of... It's just not a good for the reputation, right? To keep this, to let this go all the way to a trial. Um, unless they're just supremely confident that they're going to win. You know, it, I'm not a lawyer. And so if they think that they're just going to win, then that's fine. Yeah, both are just Roman military tactics is what chat is saying as well. I agree with that. Yep. You could say this. Yeah, Lucas Arts could sue saying that the Almighty was akin to the Death Star. Yeah, exactly. Like anything that was referenced there, I feel like I've seen stories or movies or TV shows that predate both of these narratives, like that predate Bungie's and predate Martino's that have similar undertones or would take inspiration from. But it would be better. Yeah, it would be better to settle out of court for the most part. But again, that kind of depends on what price they set on it. They set the prices 
10 million dollars or something crazy right i mean this is a campaign that's not even in the game anymore so hard to quantify the value of of it right to some degree but that's up for the courts to decide the damages and things like that how did this actually i mean i guess plagiarism is plagiarism bungie profits off of someone but it doesn't damage martino's you know writing by any means but uh, taking their story and, and profiting off of it, however much they profit off of it, that would be the real key there. It'd be interesting. It's going to be really crazy to see. Yeah, it would be the lawyers will definitely push for a settlement. That's what they'll just push for. So just let's just settle this out of court, get this over and done with, and um, we'll see what happens. Though I'll keep you updated updated on what does happen with this. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.